Hi friends, today I discuss on Euclid geometry. So the first term is what is geometry and why geometry why geometry the word is originated and what is the branch why we study geometry branch in mathematics so many questions in mind so the first thing is what is geometry geometry comes from geometry comes from the word the words geo the words geo and geo means geo means the earth geo meaning the earth and metrian m e t r e i n and metrian metrian meaning to measure to measure which means geometry word come from the words geo a greek word which meanings the earth and metri metrian meaning the major so the so the geometry appears to have originated from the need for measuring the land measuring land in different different civilization so the branch of mathematics was studied in various form in every ancient civilization so basically geometry used in very ancient culture to measuring just measuring land so in around 325 bc around 325 bc a teacher of mathematics at alexandria in egypt at alexandria in egypt name euclid name euclid collected all known work and arranged in his famous treatise famous treatise so just euclid collect all known work collected all known work and arranged in arranged in his famous treatise in his famous treatise called elements called elements called elements and he divided the elements into 13 chapter so divided elements into 13 chapter each called a book each called a book this book influenced the whole world understanding of geometry for generation to come so euclid total conclude or listed 23 definition 23 definitions in book 
in book one of the elements now continue in second page so in book few of the euclid definitions are like this the first is this the point is that which has no part means no dimensions means no dimensions no length no breadth and no height the definition of line is the line is breadthless length means the length where breadth are zero the third definition is the ends of a line are points means if any line consider the ends of a line are points means zero dimensions part the fourth the straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself means straight line is those line which lies evenly with the points itself means point even consider even space then it's like a straight line now for a surface is that which has length and breadth means surface is like as this which have length and breadth so it has two dimensional body two dimensional body the sixth is the edges of a surface are lines means any surface the edge of surface like is if in this plane figure the edge like this this is a line and the last is the plane surface surface with lies evenly with the straight lines on itself so this is the this there are these are few of the euclid definitions now euclid defined this is the like i just some few of euclid definition in, in this book in his book so i think you can i think you i hope you discuss or i hope you understand what is geometry and what is the use of geometry and what is the role of euclid in the case of geometry or in the history of geometry and what is the definition point definition or this so but the definition of point line and a plane are not accepted by mathematician so therefore these terms are taken as undefined called undefined so i hope you understand this euclid geometry so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video